Hello, meteorologist Pete Mangione here. It's around 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. This is just a brief video update. Wanted to show you what's happening here at uh, Narragansett Town Beach. We have seen some waves coming over the top of the seawall here, so some minor splash over flooding. This was not totally um, a surprise as we were anticipating maybe a chance that this could happen. We'll keep an eye on tonight's high tide cycle as well. Now, in terms of wind gusts, you can see that 39 mile an hour gust recently on Block Island. I also saw a report of around a 40 mile an hour wind gust in Westerly. So those winds are starting to crank up, but the strongest of the winds are still to come. I wanted to show you sort of what's going to happen 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. We're going to have what's called a low level jet pushing up against the south coast and that will increase our wind so 10 o'clock in the morning into the 11 a.m hour pretty much where we are right now you could see some gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour and then that trend continues into the early afternoon notice that gust of around 50 in westerly newport 41. we don't take these literally but this gives you an idea that the winds will be ramping up a bit more check out block island you could get a gust close to 60 so this is region where some down trees and isolated power outages are possible notice what happens as we go deeper into the afternoon some of those stronger winds will spread to the north for inland spots. So even up through Providence, Taunton, there is a slight chance that we get some down trees and power outages too. And then tonight, we really start to taper off those wind gusts. However, there will be a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm. And of course, if one of those materializes, you could get a strong burst of wind. Overall, 45 to 55 mile an hour gusts possible along the south coast, around 35 to 45 for the rest of our inland areas. Rain should continue heavy at times all the way through the afternoon. You could see it becomes lighter, though, by 7 or 8 p.m. with just a slight risk of an isolated thunderstorm. So the worst of the rain likely over with if you're heading out later for a Halloween party, for instance. So back here, live in the weather studio, we'll keep you updated and post these video updates throughout the day as the Nor'easter continues to move through southern New England. See ya.